I found it! Later. <sighs> it's here. After all this time, I have them all. <laughs> Um, Roxy, are you okay? Oh, Terence. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, why are you asking? Okay, I just heard you laughing maniacally, and I assumed you were doing something bad. Um, so, uh, what are you doing? Well, you see, with this here ancient technology, I will be able to find... The secrets of arson. O okay. First, you gotta start the whole arson thing. And second, what's so secret about arson? Um, well, I actually don't know. That's why I got these. So how about you come over here and we crack open these boys together and find out what the secrets to arson are. Um... Uh, okay? Um, Roxy? These are... floppy disks, not ancient technology. And um, also, how are you gonna run them? Oh, my good friend. You see, what I'm gonna do with the floppy disks is I'm just gonna get a cable, hook it up to the computer, and put them next to it. Um... What? So, uh, we're just gonna get this cable right here. Um, connect it to this, and then to the Samsung computer over there. And then, we're gonna find out the secrets of arson! I'm not sure that's gonna work, but, um, okay. Don't be such a downer. All we're gonna do is stack these on top of each other, connect it with the cable, and then to the computer. The Samsung computer. And then, we are going to find out everything. A few moments later. Okay, that looks good. Okay, yeah, that also looks good. Okay, Terrence, we're ready. Um, one thing. We're using the laptop for this because, uh, the computer's broken to no specific reason. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Three, two, one. Huh. It seems to be in a Microsoft Paint file. Okay. Yes! Yes! What? Suck it. You got duped. Ronaldo! <laughs> No! Later. Oh! Ah! Uh, Roxy, where are you going? Ah! I'm gonna do to you, laptop, what I did to the computer! Ah! Ah!
Roxy, what are you doing? <laughs> Terence, why are you here? I'm here because you were doing the maniacal laughing again. And why do you have a cardboard cutout that says fire on it? It says fire on it, so I know what to burn it with. You... You can only burn things with fire. Well, that's not quite right. Things burn as well when they're really cold. Uh, anyway. Wait, Roxy, what are you doing? I'm staying on fire. Wait, stop! And... Breaking news, a guy set his house on fire. Well, at least we have insurance. We don't have insurance. Oh. Get the- Yeah, I know. Get the door. Ugh. Huh. Mm. Ooh, get out of here. No one wants firefighters here. Oh, Terrence. So, uh... Who's the package for? Uh, well, the package is actually for you. Really? It's for me? Yeah. Let me look. Oh my god. It is. Well, uh, are you gonna open it? Okay, look inside of it. Of course! Wow! Uh, what is it? It, it? It's a piece of paper! Wait, what? That can't be all of it. There is also a mask in here. So, uh, what's on the piece of paper? C! Huh. So, uh, what does it say? Well, it says, Dear Roxy, this is a gift to you. I am extremely sorry for scamming you. Please take this Jacko mask. Sincerely, Ronaldo. Oh, how nice of him. Uh, Ronaldo, isn't that the guy who scammed you? Uh, yeah. He must have seen the error of his ways. Or, this is another scam or trick. Or something like that. Oh, I doubt that. Although I do hope you didn't get too upset when I set his house on fire. You did what? I set his house on fire. But it seems like he's okay with it now. Okay, I have two questions. First, where'd you find his house? Second, why'd you burn it down? And also, wouldn't you think, after all that, this would be a malicious package? Well, first... I did it to get back at him. Second, I found his house on the internet. And third, what's so dangerous about a cardboard mask and a piece of paper? Okay, I don't know what's dangerous about the mask, but it just feels dangerous. Oh, it will be fine. You burnt his house down. It will be fine. Plus, like, 
Come on. It's, it's cardboard. There's nothing too dangerous about it. Fine. But if something happens, I'm not helping you. Okay. Wait, um, what time is it? It's 6 p.m. Oh crap, I need to go. Where do you need to go? I have a family reunion today, and for the most part tomorrow. I've, I've told you this like five times. Oh, yeah. So you remember now? No. Then why did you say, oh yeah? I don't know. <sighs> okay, all you need to know is that I'll be back tomorrow evening. Can you remember that? Maybe. <sighs> okay. Okay, Roxy, I'm going now. Okay. Okay. Um, Terence, did you say something? Huh. Uh, hey, Roxy. I'm um, sorry I'm late. Uh, Roxy? Uh, Roxy? What the? Um, Roxy, are you okay? Roxy, this isn't funny. The, the, the joke is over now. S stop what you're doing. Oh god. Why don't I just run to the front door like any sane person would? Wait, why did I just throw it away? Uh, uh, oh no. Uh, ah. Ah, my face. Shit, did I get a paper cut? Ah. Ah, God, that hurts. Uh, wait, R Roxy, is that you? Yeah, of course it's me. Wait, 
What time is it? H how long have I been asleep? You you weren't asleep. You tried to kill me. Ugh. Ugh. What are you talking about? I didn't try to kill you. You just tried to kill me with that axe over there. What are you talking about? Th that axe over there is a prop. It's made out of plastic. Why did I try to kill you with a plastic axe? I don't know, but you were wearing that mask and you were trying to kill me. I, I, I didn't try to kill you, but, you know, the last thing I remember was hearing whispers, and then I walked towards the mask and touched it, and then I, I, uh, I, I ended up here. So, uh, you're not trying to kill me? Of course I won't try to kill you. I wouldn't do it in the obvious way either, like this. That reassures me a little. We need to get rid of that thing. Yeah, we do. Um, Terence? Although I don't remember it, I'm sorry for trying to kill you. Don't blame yourself. But, uh, next time, take my advice. Yeah. What? Oh, come on, we just had that window fixed. Boo! Ah, who are you? It's your boy. Gerald, is that you? Wait, Roxy, you know this guy? He's my cousin. But, but he's a shark. Well, I smell like a fish. I eat fish, so I must be a fish. At least that's what scientists said like a hundred years ago. As we all know, scientists are never wrong. That, that makes no sense. Wait, where's he going? Huh. Woo! One, one sec. I need to say my line. Ahem! <clears throat> what a nice place, cousin! Woo! Ah, what nice plants! <laughs> Wait, you stop! I don't get so stressed. He just smashed our window! Oh, to be honest, that was bound to happen. Whose side are you on? No side! Woo! Oh, I'm in your big fan! I always wanted to do that. Oh, it's the shadow of the camera. Anyway. Oh, come on, I just got that! We can always buy another. That is not the point. Anyway. Ah! Look, audience! This is the corner where everything bad happens. Don't ask me why that happens, just ask the director. So, uh, what is the point? The point is... Wait, who's he talking to? Ah, and also, this wardrobe that has very significant meaning for later on in the series. Why are you looking at me? Cut back to them. He's insane. Oh, isn't that a bit judgmental? That's why the church doesn't like oranges. Okay, he's a little insane. A little? Anyway, enough is enough. You have to leave. What? Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm leaving? No, wait, wait, uh, what's happening? Oh, come on! I'm not going! I'm not going! Uh, uh, no! What? 
What just happened? Uh, that happens sometimes. Anyway, bye. Wait, what do you mean by that? Oh, and of course you're gone. Ah! I'll be back for the Christmas special, I swear! What? What? What just... What just happened? Uh, oh, my head. Ah! Oh, come on, we can't even change room for this scene? Silence! Who are you? And why are a tripod attached to a camera? Or a camera attached to a tripod? Which one is it? First, I am a tripod attached to a camera, not a camera attached to a tripod. Second, we are the fourth wall, and all that matters is that we have finally caught you. Ooh, ominous red lighting. Wait, does this mean I'm getting a spin-off show? No. Fine, I didn't want a spin-off show. Uh, anyway, have you noticed there's a camera filming us? No, there isn't. Yeah, there's a camera filming us right now. No, there isn't. Wait. Wait, there is one. But that, does that mean if, uh, if I'm... Well, but that's not possible. If I'm the fourth wall, then I'm breaking the fourth wall. But then that means there's another fourth wall. And if there's another fourth wall, am I breaking the fourth wall? Then I... Um, R Roxy, what are you watching? Uh, hey Terrence, I'm just watching a film. Okay, um, could you turn the volume down then? Why? Because eight neighbors have come by, and to be very honest, I don't want to deal with another one. Ugh, fine. Why is everyone so stingy? Okay. Hey, Terrence, uh, why don't you stay and watch the film with me? What? Um, uh, okay, what film is it then? It's called It Came From Somewhere. Well, that's not a very specific title, is it? It's a monster movie. Oh. Um, maybe next time? Those films aren't really my thing. Okay. Well, um, bye, bye then. Uh, 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 what's that sound? Hey, Roxy, wake up. Uh, what is it, Terrence? Get up, don't you hear that sound? Oh, it's real? <coughs> Why wouldn't it be real? It's part of my bedtime playlist. What playlist has guns and sirens in it? Actually, don't answer that. Oh no, what's happening? Uh... Oh, wait, it stopped. Oh, what's this? It looks like I got a news notification. Breaking news! Wait, what does that say? What does the transcriber say? One sec. Sorry for that, but around 11.47 a.m. A giant monster appeared. Breaking news. The news area was blown up by the monster. Anyway, yes, the monster is attacking the city. That's really bad for you. <laughs> Not for us. We're going to make a lot of money off this. Anyway. <laughs> oh no, we're going to die as well. 
Well, that was some helpful exposition. How? That's not possible. It, it can't be real. Well, it looks pretty real to me. What are you talking about? God, this looks fun. Why? We need to get out of here. Why? Because of the giant monster. So where do we go? As far away from that monster as possible. I'm going back to bed. What? What are you doing? Well, we're not getting away, so I thought I'd get some shut eye. What? What the? Oh no. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Um. Uh, oh, here. What are you going to do in a wardrobe? Hide. How's that going to help? I don't know. Uh, uh, what? What just happened? Ah. Ah. Oh, come on. That was just a dream. And I slept through the movie. Uh, at least I can watch the final fight. R Roxy, how are you so chill about this? Was this all just a dream, or what happened? Uh, it must have been just a dream or something, like one of those shared ones. Doesn't really matter anyway. We're fine. I, I, I guess. I, uh, I guess you must be right. That's weird, it felt so real. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But it, it's weird. Done. Hey, Roxy, uh, could you come through for a moment? Eh! What is it, Terrence? I'm finally done decorating. Uh, what do you think of it? Oh, it looks great! Oh, thank you, Rox. <sighs> oh, come on. Huh? What was that? I have no idea. And to be very honest, I don't know if I want to know. I'm gonna go and check it out. Wait, Roxy! And he's gone. <sighs> On Christmas, seriously? Roxy, wait! What? Roxy, I think we need to think about this. Come up with some sort of plan. Terrence, I doubt it's gonna be anything too bad. Roxy, recently a lot of weird things have been happening, so I think it would be best if we come up with a plan. Oh, come on, Terrence, it's like in those movies. You always walk to the creepy sound. What film have you ever watched where that is a good idea? Many films. So I'm just going to go into the room and see if there's anything bad. Wait, Roxy! See, Terrence? Nothing- ah! Roxy! Roxy! Ugh. 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 Who are you? Ugh. Ugh. What? 
Where am I? Am I dead? Wait, what's going on? Terence? You're finally awake. Uh, Roxy, what's going on? Well, Terence, you see, obviously we've been tied up. And we're going to be sacrificed to some sort of, like, death guard. What? Thank you for giving him the basic rundown. You're welcome. Roxy. What? Whatever. Anyway, who are you? And why is it snowing? You can call me the follower. And to be very honest, I have no clue why it's snowing indoors. It just kind of happens around me. What? Oh, who do you follow? I follow... The Harbinger. Oh, how specific. Who's the Harbinger, and why are you doing this exactly? The Harbinger is our great leader. And by sacrificing you, we shall finally be able to open the Liminal. Now, you might be wondering what the Liminal is. Well, the Liminal is a place in between where we come from. Well, not you. Where me and the Harbinger and the others come from, but you get what I mean. Hey, Roxy. What? Shh. What? We need to get out of here now. Um, well, that might be a little bit difficult if you haven't realized like, we're tied up. Well, wait. It's just tinsel. We can easily just break out of it. Oh. Yeah, we are just tied up in tinsel. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. But that does not matter. All that matters is that Lord Death shall... Oh, come on, I did it again, didn't I? I went on a wild monologue, giving them enough time to escape. Ugh! Eh. Ugh, come on. Ah, I'm out. Uh, finally. Roxy, come on. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, no. Terrence, get out of the way. <laughs> what? What? Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Okay. Let's get this over with. No, no, no. Terence! <coughs> Wait, what? No, 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 get off of me! No! Terence! No. Uh. Roxy? 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 Ro Roxy? Roxy, get up. No. Ah! <sighs> Oh, 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 that tickled a bit. Roxy, is that you? Uh, are you okay? Yep, I'm completely fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you got hit by lightning for one. Ah, well, it's not my first time. Okay. Wait, what? Well, you see. Ah. Well, you see. I am going to kill you. Oh, no. Did your voice just change? Nine. It has. But that's not possible. Doesn't matter. I will kill you. Ow. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Gerald? Wait, you saved us? <laughs> no. I'm not here to save you. I'm here to kill you. But I don't understand. Why would you want to save us and then kill us? No, I wasn't here to save you at all. I was just here to kill you myself. Oh, we're doing this again. Wait, this has happened before? Yeah, it's a bit like a game. Wait, how often does this happen then? Oh, once or twice a year. What? Enough! I'm done with the chit-chat. It's time! For you two to run. Bang! Ah! Roxy, we need to get out of here. Okay. Bang! Dang it! Wait, this is different. Ah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going first? <laughs> Straight ahead. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the front door? Yes, Roxy. You know, we need to, uh, leave. 
But we can't leave, Terence. The game's not finished yet. This isn't a game, Roxy. He is actually trying to kill us. No, he's not. He shot at us. That's just how he expresses himself. He won't actually hurt us. He is trying to kill us. Why don't you understand about that? I'm not going until the game's finished. Fine, Roxy. If you want to stay here, you can. But I am leaving. No, 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 no. What is it, Terence? The doors are... Ah! Bang! <laughs> Terence! Terence! How bad is it? It's a paper cut. Damn it. Gerald, stop! You actually hurt him! Yeah, I know. But... but it's just a game. No, it's not a game. I am actually going to kill you. But I don't understand. We're family. And... but... D don't you care? <laughs> no. No, I don't. So, on the count of ten, I'm going to shoot you both. Gerald? Ahem. <clears throat> One. <coughs> Roxy, get out of here. Save yourself. No, Terence, I can't just leave you here. Aww, how cute. Anyway, eight, nine, no. And... Te ah! Ow. Come on, Terence. Uh... Ah, why didn't I just shoot them? Why was that even in the script? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm done following the script. Now. That way. <laughs> Terence, what do we do now? I... I don't... Wait, I have an idea. We'll climb through the window and we'll circle back. Okay. <sighs> okay, come on, Terence. <sighs> okay, Terence, now what? Stop right there. Oh no. Gerald, you don't have to do this. Yeah, you're right. I don't have to do this. I want to. I'm gonna kill your friend. And then you. No, I won't let you. And what are you gonna do about it? This! Oh, come on, I had to ask. Huh? Come on! Ugh. Ugh. It's finally over. <sighs> what? Terence? <laughs> Are you okay, Terence? Could be doing better. <clears throat> but at least he's gone now. Yeah. <clears throat> Hang on, Terence. Let me get your med kit. Are you feeling better, Terence? Yeah, I'm feeling better, Roxy. Okay, Terence. I'm gonna go and check on something quickly, okay? Okay, Roxy. One moment. Well, I won't be going anywhere. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. I'm going to kill you. No, I won't let you hurt anyone. Ah! Duh. Damn it! No! Ow! Uh, 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 uh. Roxy, what's going on? Um, n nothing. Yeah, nothing. Oh, okay. <sighs> no! Ah, one sec, what's the light? <sighs> no! Oh, fiddlesticks. Commander, the follower has not returned. I fear he has failed. What should we do now? Do not fret, Acolyte. Everything happens for a reason.
command. This is Agent 496, subsection A, class 1, theory. I've found something. that sound? I don't know. Wait. Everyone! <laughs> Amanda. Something went wrong. What is it? Research Base 5 was destroyed. How? A bomb was attached to some of the evidence from the rogue agent's case. How did no one see it? It was disguised, Commander. M may I ask, 
What should we do now? Send a scout to his last known location. When he's found, bring him in, dead or alive. Yes, ma'am. And by the way, I want those who fail to find the device punished. What are you doing now, rogue agent? What, Roxy? Terrence, I bought something. Seriously? Is this why you woke me up? Fine. What is it? This! It's just a candle. Yeah, but it's a special candle. How? Eh! Well, you see, when I light this candle, it will summon the god of all flames, the Flame Fiend! Uh-huh. Wait! I need a lighter. One sec. Grab! Whoa! Eh. Who did you buy this off of? Of? Um. From? Who did you buy this from? Oh, uh, uh, some guy called uh, Odlinar, I think. Odlinar. Odlinar. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's just Ronaldo backwards. <laughs> what were you saying? Wait! Duh! <laughs> Uh, uh. Eh. It worked. What did you call that thing earlier? They're the flame fiend. Roxy, what are they doing? That Ow. Hi. Wait, uh Ow! Uh. Ow! My face! <laughs> uh. Wait! Wait! I'm your greatest follower! Eh. Uh. Well, that's convenient. Eh. Ow, ow, I, <laughs> ow, my hand. Oh no. Hey, you, stop. Terrence! You did it! That actually worked. So... What do we do now? Okay, Roxy. Please? Stop buying stuff. Just in general, stop buying stuff. What happens if I want to buy something and I really, really want it? Just... Don't. But why? Because whenever you buy something, it comes to life, and then it ends up trying to kill us. Fine. Although you should probably know that I bought like a bunch of stuff off the guy. Wait. How much stuff? Uh, I don't know. I can't quite remember anymore. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no.
<laughs> Roxy, what was that? Nothing. Hmm. So, uh, how are you doing? You know what? It doesn't matter. Currently, I'm being chased down by a killer robot. Oh yeah, I remember buying that. I think I put it in the basement. You know what? I really don't care right now. We need to find a way to block the door. Um, we can put the chair there. What was that? Oh no. Huh, that doesn't look too scary. Just throw something at it. Um... I can throw the scissors. Just do something. <clears throat> Was that really your best shot? Yeah. Oh, fine. I'll do it myself. <sighs> you did it. Do you think it's down, Terence? Ah. Yeah, I think it's definitely down. Well, we're done. I wonder what will happen tomorrow. Anyway. Eh. Roxy, how can you be so nonchalant about this happening? Like, we get attacked by something random, like, every day. Well, you see... Hey, what's going on? No, no, not another one. Cool. Why is there a robot in our room? Scout unit successful arrival. Primary objective. Locate the rogue agent. Hostile life forms detected. Now you choose to throw something well, Roxy. Yeah. Activating countermeasures. What's that supposed to mean? Annihilate. Roxy. Wait, we can talk about this. Ugh. Ugh. Roxy, get out of the way. It's stuck! Roxy, come on! Okay! <laughs> we can talk about this. No. Activating maximum eradication. Said no, Terrence. I know, I'm not deaf. Why don't we just leave, Terrence? Ugh, we could have done that. Well, it's been good knowing you, Roxy. Oh, thank you, Terrence. Agent detected. What the hell is going on? I have no clue, but it looks really cool. Super Ultimate Omega Eradication. Well, that's not so cool.
finally got it working. Oh, hey audience. Yeah, I'm gonna escape here. I need to call in a favor. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, pressing random numbers, and... General! I'm sending you coordinates. Currently I am trapped in an extra room of this apartment. Yes, I'm trapped. That's why I haven't been here, or at the base, for three weeks. Yeah, I know. Shut up, just come. Okay. Well, audience, I will be seeing you very, 